As an Amazon seller, it's critical to understand your customer's journey and how customers interact with your business. One key aspect of this is identifying the drop of points in your sales funnel. Thanks to Amazon's powerful brand analytics tools, search query performance and search catalog performance, you can now bridge these gaps by addressing the issues that are causing customers to lose interest in their purchase journey. This will improve your conversion rates and revenue on Amazon. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Padil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to deep dive into search query performance and search catalog performance dashboards and show you how to use them to optimize your product listings and advertising campaigns. So whether you are a new seller or an established brand, you don't want to miss this video. Let's dive right into it. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. Let's get started. Well, the search query performance dashboard displays the data on the number of impressions and clicks a brand receives in response to search queries related to its products. This information can be used to calculate a brand's share of voice and brand share. You can identify trends and understand how they are performing relative to your competitors. This will in turn help you to make informed decisions about product development and even the marketing strategies. The search catalog performance dashboard, on the other hand, helps you to understand your sales funnel at the product level. So this tool will allow you to instantly identify the conversion problems or even the drop off points where you lose your customer's attention. The dashboard will also assist you in analyzing your product's pricing competitiveness and optimizing your marketing investments and inventory planning. Now, how to access Amazon search analytics in Seller Central? It should be noted that brand analytics is a brand benefit that can only be accessed by the sellers who have already registered a brand. First, log in to the Amazon Seller Central dashboard, click on Brands, and then Brand Analytics from the sidebar. It will directly bring you to the Search Query Performance dashboard. Now you can access additional tools such as Repeat Purchase Behavior, Demographic, etc. using the tabs on the top of the screen. Now this is how the search query performance dashboard looks like. There are two view types available, brand view and the ASIN view. Brand view shows the query performance across your brands. The ASIN view shows the top search queries for a specific product instead of the entire brand. The dashboard lists customer queries associated with your brand's product. The most popular query will have the highest score and appear at the top with all other queries in descending order. Below up to 1000 queries are shown. Next to each query, you will see a sequence of metrics. Search query volume is the number of times customers search this query during the selected time period. Say for example, in the given time frame, the customer search for the energy bytes query is 461. Next we have is search funnel impressions. It entails the number of products that appeared on search result pages after a query was used. It includes both organic and sponsored products. Under this, you will see the total count or total number of product impressions as well as a brand count and a brand share for the query. Brand count is the number of product impressions specifically for your brand. Brand share is that same number divided by the total number of impressions for the query. For example, consider this query, Stress Relief Snack. Its total count is 60 and brand count is 5. So the brand share will be 5 divided by 60 into 100, that is 8.33 percentage. Now that impressions don't include product appearances in widgets like those for highly rated products or new arrivals, then we have Search Funnel Clicks. It is the number of times customers clicked products that appeared on search results pages after a query was used. Just like impressions, you see total count, brand count and brand share. 
In addition to this, we have click rate and the same day shipping speed column. Click rate is the total number of clicks over search query volume count and the same day shipping speed is the number of times the products were clicked while the same day shipping option was viewable. For example, if customers clicked various products 50 times after using the query handmade gold bracelet and 25 of those clicks were for your handmade gold bracelet, the brand count listed would be 25 and the brand share listed would be 50. If you always offered same day shipping for the bracelet while no other seller offered this option, the same day shipping speed would also be 25. Moving on to the search funnel cart ads. So it is the number of times that customers used a query to click the product, then use the add to cart button on the product detail page to put it in their cart to purchase later. Like with clicks, we have total count, brand count, brand share, as well as column for same day shipping speed. We also have cart ad rate over here, which is the percentage of time customers click the add to cart button. For example, after clicking various products 50 times on search results pages for the query wine glass, customers added various products to their carts 30 times. If 10 of those products were your wine glass product, which was always the only product offered with same day shipping, the brand share listed would be 33.33 percentage and the same day shipping speed would be 10. If in addition to the 10 card ads, 10 other customers viewed your product detail page but didn't add the product to their card, the card ad rate would be 50%. Finally, we have search funnel purchases here. It is the number of times that customers used a query, clicked the product, then ordered the product. This metric includes your sales as well as the sales of other sellers. In this, we have total count purchase rate, brand count, brand share, and same day shipping speed. For instance, after clicking various products 50 times on search results pages for the query table lamp, customers purchase products 20 times. If five of those products were your table lamp, the brand share listed would be 25% and the same day shipping speed would be five. If in addition to the five purchases, five other customers viewed your product detail page but didn't purchase the product, the purchase rate would be 50. In addition to this, you can also add or remove metrics in both brand view and ASIN view reports. For that, click customize column on the right hand side, check or uncheck metrics on the pop-up window and click save to get the updated report. So this was all about the brand view. You can click ASIN view at the top of the dashboard to view queries associated with a specific product instead of your entire brand. Select the specific ASIN from the search bar, select the reporting range and then specify the year and quarter. Now click on the apply button to get all search queries for the ASIN. Keep in mind that the data is generally available in brand analytics within 72 hours. If you would like to add or remove columns on the search query performance report, click customize columns on the right hand side, then check or uncheck boxes in the pop-up window, click the save button to return to the updated report. To download a copy of the report, click the generate download button. On the left, you can see search queries associated with your specified ASIN. Next to each query, you'll see a sequence of metrics which are very similar to brand view report. The only difference is that here we are dealing with ASINs. The ASIN view allows you to see how your search queries are performing for specific products and which search terms are driving the most traffic to those products. This can be particularly useful if you are selling multiple products on Amazon and want to see how each one is performing in search queries. By analyzing the data in the ASIN view, you can identify which search terms are driving the most traffic to each product and adjust your keyword targeting and ad campaigns accordingly. Now let's look into the search catalog performance dashboard over here. Well, this report gives you with insights into the ways customers interact with your products. It can 
help you identify customer drop-off points for your products or find gaps in discoverability and sales conversion. Select the reporting range and week and then click on the apply button to get all the ASINs. You can also use filters to narrow down the report for a specific brand or collection of products. Click show filters and use the drop down menu to select a brand or enter up to 100 ASINs in the search bar and select refined results. The report lists your brand's products by title. In the second column, you'll see product ASINs and categories. Then you'll see a sequence of metrics that represents customer activity throughout the shopping. Impressions is the number of times a product appears on the search result pages and include both organic and sponsored products. Next to impressions, you'll see the median price the product appeared with. Clicks is the number of times customers clicked a product after it appeared on search result pages. Next to clicks, you will see the click rate for the product, which is the percentage of time it was clicked by customers. Cart ads is the number of times customers searched, clicked, then used the add to cart button on the product's detail page to put it in their cart for purchase later. Purchases are the number of times that customers searched, clicked, then ordered the product. This metric includes your sales as well as the sales of other sellers who list the product next to the number of purchases. You'll see the amount in associated sales as well as the conversion rate for the product, which is the percentage of time it was purchased after being clicked by the customers. Consider you are selling a wireless speaker. So it appears on search results pages 100 times with a median price of $50. If it was clicked 50 times, after having 100 impressions, its click rate would be 50%. Consider 10 speakers purchased by customers for a total of $525. The conversion rate in this scenario would be 20% because 10 were purchased after the product received 50 clicks on search result pages. If you would like to add or remove columns on the search catalog performance report, click customize columns on the right hand side, then click or uncheck boxes in the pop-up. Click the save button to return to the updated report. To download a copy of the report, you can click the generate download. We encourage brands to use all the features and functionality of the search catalog performance report to gain insights into their performance in the Amazon store. Use drop-off points at the click stage to decide which product detail pages might need updating or use other metrics to develop advertising strategies that can help drive more traffic to your product. So this was all about the search query performance and search catalog performance dashboards. By using both of these powerful tools, you can gain a comprehensive understanding of how customers are searching for and interacting with your products on Amazon. This can help you to identify new keywords and search terms to target, optimize your product listings and ads for better performance, and ultimately increase your visibility and sales on the platform. We know that making sense of this abundance of data is overwhelming. That's why we are here to help. Let us know if your brand needs someone to digest your data and help make actionable insights. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. We have published an in-depth blog on Amazon search query performance dashboard, which you can find in the comment section below. If you have found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Celera. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss on any other video. And as always, happy selling!